أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم I seek refuge in God from Satan the accursed and the name of God the beneficent the merciful When the battle of the camel was finished Imam Ali peace be upon him and a group of his companions entered the city of Basra this city was the was the place where the enemy soldiers had organized their army and began their campaign against the holy Pro the holy Imam Ali peace be upon him. So when Imam Ali peace be upon him arrived in the city, he did several things. And all of these things are exceptional representations of Islamic virtue. First of all, Imam Ali, peace be upon him, delivered a sermon to the very people who had already fought against the Holy Imam Ali, peace be upon him, in the battlefield. Because when Imam Ali was victorious in the war, the enemy soldiers had fled away into the city of Basra. So the people in the city were either among those people who had participated actively in the war or those who had supported the people who were fighting against the Holy Imam Ali, peace be upon him. In his speech, Imam Ali said, you all had given me your allegiance. All those people in Basra had already given their allegiance to the governors appointed by Imam Ali, peace be upon him. However, they broke their allegiance. And not only they broke their allegiance with Imam Ali, they also supported and backed those people who wanted to launch a campaign, a military campaign against Imam Ali, peace be upon him. They funded the campaign, they encouraged people to join the campaign. And then Imam Ali raised the question, what am I supposed to do with you? What do you expect me to do? In all the battles, even in our modern times, when a party is victorious in, an, in a deadly battle, they don't ask questions, they just take prisoners, they torture the enemy soldiers, and they just take revenge on them. This is the case even in some Muslim countries. However, Imam Ali, peace be upon him, raised the question, saying that you have already broken allegiance with me and have supported the enemies of my government. What do you expect me to do with you? Their answer was, we only expect you to do good. In fact, some of them, some of those people who were brazen enough to answer back, they said, we are certain that you will do the virtuous thing. The life of Imam Ali, peace be upon him, which was similar to the life of the Holy Prophet of Islam, assured these people that His Holiness will choose for forgiveness. And so they said that we only expect you to do the virtuous thing.
They said that if you incriminate us and punish us, you have all the right to do so because we are criminals. But if you choose for forgiveness, you already know that forgiveness is more dear in the sight of the Almighty God. This was the answer that people of Basra gave to Imam Ali. And the Holy Imam just said, you all are forgiven. And this was the end of it. As simple as this. The Imam announced a public pardon and forgot all about the enmities. The things that those people had done before the battle, they had tortured and sacked the governor appointed by Imam Ali, peace be upon him. They had killed and burned down many houses. I recommend all of the, all of the dear believers to read about the history and the background of the Battle of the Camel. All of that enmity was gone after the public pardon of Imam Ali, peace be upon him. It was, it was just like the public pardon announced by the Holy Prophet of Islam during the conquest of the Holy City of Mecca. And this is why that the Almighty God has said in Holy Quran that Imam Ali, peace be upon him, is the soul of the Holy Prophet of Islam. The second thing that was done by Imam Ali, peace be upon him, this is also a very virtuous thing that all the Islamic and non-Muslim governments should learn it. They should know that this is the real and true image of Islam. Islam without the Ahlul Bayt of the Holy Prophet is not complete. So even the non-Muslim governments should also learn about these virtues because these virtues are important in all the world. So the first thing Imam Ali did was to announce a public pardon in the holy in the city of Basra. And by this he forgave all those people who had committed crimes before the start and during the battle of the camel. And later on, the Imam Ali, peace be upon him, entered the treasury house of the city of Basra. The dear believers should really read the history and the life of the holy Imam Ali, peace be upon him. Imam Ali never kept public wealth with himself. He had the habit of distributing the public wealth among all the public. And then after giving out that money, the Imam used to pray in the treasury house. And the enemies of Imam Ali, peace be upon him, always did the opposite. They kept the public wealth with themselves. So when Imam Ali, peace be upon him, entered the city of Basra and the treasury house of the city, which was before then under the control of Talha and Zubay, the Imam saw that the treasury is filled with gold and silver. All of these things are recorded in the history books. And so when Imam Ali entered the treasury house of Basra, he took a look at the gold and silver and said, O gold, O silver, try to deceive someone except me. In other words, the Imam said that you can deceive anyone except for me. 
And even today, we can see that in many countries, even in the Muslim countries, the leaders and the governments are easily deceived by the shine of the gold and silver coins. After saying these words, Imam Ali, peace be upon him, ordered the public wealth to be distributed evenly among all people. And by the order of Imam Ali, everyone received 500 dirhams. Even those people who had participated in the battle of the camel and fought against the holy Imam Ali, peace be upon him, they also received a share of 500 dirhams. And the thing that I'm about to say now is also part of the history. Imam Ali, his family, his sons, and his affiliates did not even take a larger share than the other people. So after Imam Ali was victorious in the Battle of the Camel and he entered the House of the Treasury, he did not even take a larger share. And they all received an even share of 500 dirhams from the Treasury House. This is exceptional in the entire history of the humankind, except for the period of the leadership of the Holy Prophet of Islam, who was in fact the tutor and the master of Imam Ali, peace be upon him. And therefore, after the martyrdom of Imam Ali, peace be upon him, Imam Hassan, peace be upon him, delivered a sermon in which he said that my father did not leave behind any gold or silver except for 700 or 700 dirhams. And Imam Ali was the leader of the entire Islamic territories at the time. And the money, this small amount of money was collected by the periodic payments that is given to all Muslim individuals from the treasury house. And the Imam kept this money in order to hire a servant to help his family with the daily chores. All these historical facts must be unfolded to the entire world. It is the responsibility of everyone to do their part in this great cause and introduce the real Islam to the world, so that the, maybe the world can change for the better. We see that there are many struggles and problems around in our world. And by these virtuous policies, maybe we can encourage people to follow this lead, and maybe the problems can be resolved. Imam Ali is a role model that can be followed by all people. And there are many other stories, similar stories from the Holy Imam Ali, peace be upon him, that the youth can read for themselves and preach it to the entire world. We have the claim that the Holy Prophet and Imam Ali, peace be upon him, are exceptional leaders of governments. And this claim is supported by countless number of proofs and evidences, which are all exceptional in their own way. I hope that Almighty God grants success to anyone who is trying to fulfill this, to fulfill this responsibility. And may God bless Muhammad and his pure household.